Hello there. Today I'm going to cross off a very overdue item on my to-do list. I'm going to make my son a big boy bed. With his help, I designed his bed in SketchUp. He surprisingly wanted me to make a simple style bed. I was hoping he would ask for some Super Mario theme or some bunk bed desk combo thing, but hey, the kid wanted to make my job easy. Thanks a lot, little buddy. After a couple of plan revisions from the missus and a couple more months of me being lazy, I finally drew up a cut list and bought some wood. I'm using some nice two inch thick beech wood from a local mill. I wanted a lighter color wood, something that would give me the option to go a little bit darker if I needed to. For anyone out there who makes projects at home, you know that sometimes the plans change. The plan for my joinery is to use loose tenons. I thought about breaking out the old Festool Domino, but uh, since I don't have one, I'll have to make them the old fashioned way. I haven't used this style of joinery in a long time, but I got a bunch of maple scraps that would be perfect for a sturdy, wide tenon. My approach to making these mortises is to use shop made jigs. I have about 20 mortises to make, so why not make them faster and hopefully accurately. The first jig will be using a captive plunge router style, shown here. Not too bad, I think. Should be very repeatable. The second router jig is the tried and true guide rail system mounted on my trusty Craftsman plunge router. For a 2 inch square bed post, I'm going to make things easy on myself and go with the same size mortise as the rail, you know, so they'll fit. And here's the star of the show, this little piece of wood that hopefully I'll never have to see again after I install them. Looks like it's a good time for a dry fit up. Let's do it! These voiceovers might sound like I'm out of breath a bit. I'm listening to a bunch of heavy metal drum covers and air drumming the songs. My current favorites are split between Motley Crue Wildside and Metallica Creeping Death. 
It's time for the real deal glue up. I'm just gonna dive in and go for it. But hey, I'm using some Type Bond 2 dark tin glue, so that's pretty cool, huh? With the headboard and footboard all glued up, I did the headboard off camera. You knew that, right? Now we can move on to the rails. This might look sketchy, but it felt pretty good using the router this way. I mean, it still looks sketchy as hell, but I'm pretty sure I could, you know, hold on to it for dear life. Yeah, it kind of burned it up there a little bit, but, uh, you know, nobody's ever going to see this. And knock the corners off a little bit with the chisel, like I know what I'm doing. And it looks like that fit pretty well. Now I gotta cut the recesses for the pins. Same procedure as before, just move the bit over and hope for the best. I may have gone a little bit too deep on that, but deeper is always better, right? With that done, I can secure them to the long part of the bed rails and move on. Now this part, this part was a little bit more complicated. Essentially doing the same thing as the rails, but Maybe, maybe I should have thought about this a little bit beforehand and, uh, you know, did it a little different. And jumping forward, literally about a month, because I, you know, was lazy again. Here's the bed. I used a light pecan minwax stain to finish it off. Still don't know what I'm going to do about the bedpost, though. Thanks for watching.